Africa is an ever-changing landscape. Dry, parched ground is soaked by rainy skies. The sun warms the buried seed and the plant grows where there was none before. And like the earth, relationships change between a husband and wife, between a mother, father, and child, and between friends. Most relationships change for the better and blossom, but sadly, some relationships change for the worse, and we must struggle to keep them alive. How long was Dower Ranger here? 23 years. He never admitted, but uh, he deserves most of the credit for Majani's success. He must be pretty special, you cleaning your desk. <laughs> well, he is. It's about time Park Service has honored him. Dylan, you're a mess. I was cleaning the barn. This is an important occasion for Dow. Go get ready. I am. What about your shirt? <sighs> no. This. Now go upstairs and change and take this with you. You know how Dad loves the smell of sage. Mom, he's a grown man. Do you really think he cares how his room smells? Indulge me. Mm, lovely. Johnny, Johnny, is anyone there? This is Dow Mercer. <laughs> Sounds like your hero calling. <laughs> Dow, you old fox. How are you? I've had better days. Travis, I need your help. I've been arrested. For what? Stealing pencils? Poaching elephants? Thanks for bailing me out anyway. Oh, don't mention it, Dad. You've bailed me out of worse scrapes. <laughs> Excuse me. Classing, how desperate do you need to be to lure a man back by pretending to honor his hard work? I heard that you and Dow were close. Well, if you'd snooped a little deeper, you'd also have found that he's a man of unquestioned integrity. I thought that only applied to you, Ranger McQueen. Well, the good thing about this, Clossing, is that you're not a month as game warden. And you've already made a mistake 
that'll cost you your job. Carry on in this manner and you are bound to make a mistake that will cost you yours. Travis! Come on. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Me too. I'm glad you were there. Well, what are friends for, eh? But seriously, Travis, this is not your battle. If it involves you, Dan, it is. You remember the beast, don't you? <laughs> the beast that roared. <laughs> Before? Nope. But I should have guessed something was up when he met me at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the handcuffs should have cleared you in, huh? <laughs> He could take it out on us. When do I let a little thing like that stop me, eh? Now, if it comes to a choice between him and you, I'm gonna take him out. It's okay. Calm down. That's a boy. checking the clientele more closely before letting them into the park. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, damn it, you are still far too beautiful for this man. You know, I keep huh? telling him that. So <laughs> what happened in Savi Savi? Uh, a slight misunderstanding. Yeah, but I don't want you to worry about it, doll. I'll take care of it. Here, let me take your things. Thank you. He's here. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Marika Sesulu. I feel like I already know you. Uh, Travis has been telling stories about me. Oh, again. he hasn't stopped talking about you ever since I started working here. The sign of a man with too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to see they have finally accepted women as park rangers. Something I was never able to achieve. Oh, I want to take this man home with me. Now, you say that until you get him there. Then they do nothing but get into trouble. <laughs> well, if you uh, don't mind, I'd like to go and clean up a little. Good idea. We have a ceremony to attend soon. Uh, there's been a slight change in plans. Thank you, Spike. Beautiful, wasn't she, eh? Yeah. Stare at the mirror long enough, it's gonna crack. It's a pity you got stuck with your father's sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you since you were 11. Going on 21. <laughs> <laughs> you never were very good at math, huh? Ah, well, I could tell you after five long years on the road. It's great to be home. Isaac, somebody, somebody, say, hey! <laughs> <laughs>
Dylan! How could you let Lady Mountain do that? It's her fun, Cobes. Isn't she awesome? That is a work of true genius. You should consider changing her name to, uh, Rembrelephant. <laughs> You ruined a perfectly good canvas. It's her recreation, Cobes. Relax. You must be Kobe. I've heard a lot about you. Ah, Mr. Mercer. Could I interest you in buying this lantern here? Uh, perhaps tomorrow. He's not interested in your junk, Kobe. To you, it's junk. To me, it's a way to pay off my moped. <laughs> Kobe's making quite a name for himself at the flea mart. Yeah, Bo. <laughs> Everybody knows who the true genius is around here. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to collect some more things. Good luck. <laughs> Dylan, you've really done a magnificent job with her. She's done most of the work. Poachers may have put three bullet holes into her, but she's tough. Ah, she wouldn't have done it without you, boy. Maybe. The day we got Achilles was the day I learned about poachers. I'll never understand how they can kill an animal. Dylan! Tell your dad I'm on patrol. Can I come? Of course! Hop in! You don't mind, do you? Of course not. Marika's the best. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Is that the most absurd thing you've heard? Dow Mercer poaching? Oh, I think Clausian's just trying to make a name for himself. Not oh, at the expense of a good man. Should have seen him with that water buffalo. It's good to have him back, huh? Yeah. Well, 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 Lady Morton. <laughs> I would put this in my room, but it's not my style. <laughs> you, you, sir. You look like a man who can use a strong shovel, huh? Hey, woman! Get those beasts away from my moped! <laughs> my good sir, could I interest you in buying this original Zulu shovel? Given to me by my forefathers. No, thank you. What's that? The lantern. No, no, no. Oh, oh, this canvas. Yes, it has some paint on it, but I think it is still good. Good? Oh, it's more than good. It is? Well, it's quite primitive, but it has a definite rhythm. Yes, it does, doesn't it? And each stroke is laid on the canvas with such force. It's so good to finally meet someone who can appreciate what the artist was attempting to convey. I'm James Molino. I have a gallery in Pretoria. You know, there's a huge market for abstract art. There is? So, do you know who the artist is? Yes. Me. Kobe Sisulu. Well, Kobe Sisulu. Are you ready to strike a deal? <laughs> Dow's not here. I'm not looking for Dow. Look, Neil, I may have been a little out of line earlier on, but the charge is ridiculous. Dow Mercer would never allow the poaching of bull elephants. Dow Mercer not only allowed it, Travis, he instigated it. The charge is bogus. I was there. I have a witness. Who? The inmate from state. He's being transferred here tomorrow. Your evidence is the word of some convicted felon? I have a second witness whose reputation can't be impugned. And who's that? 
You? You've been subpoenaed to testify against Dow Mercer. This is great. Oh, I can't wait to tell Dow. What does Klausing expect you to say? I don't know. But he's gonna get testimony like he's never heard. It's always nice to see a witch hunt backfire. You know, by the time this trial is over, they will be honoring Dow, just like he deserves. I've traveled to every corner of the world, but there is nowhere as beautiful as Africa. I try not to take it for granted. I'm going to guess you enjoy being a ranger. Oh, I love it. I have many friends making much more money working in the city, but here, I feel like I can make a real difference. I remember feeling exactly the same way. Oh, and Travis has done a remarkable job. Yes, he's turned out okay, don't you think? Better than okay, you should be proud. <laughs> I, uh, so you've got your journal. Yes, Travis makes me record every event that occurs. It is my least favorite duty. Well, I hope he didn't tell you that it was me who instituted the uh, practice. You did not? Oh, yes. I was very rigid that way. Hmm. Well, Travis takes after you in that respect. There is nothing that occurs that he does not recall. He used to give me a lot of grief about it. I'm glad he's got past it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this witness Klausing's got? Oh, some convict, he says. He paid you money. Obviously, Pleboy. This Klausing guy sounds pretty sure of himself. Should I uh, be worried? You know, I remember when those elephants were killed. It was a rough time. Next to Marilyn's passing, the slaughter of those animals was the worst period of my life. It was a miserable trip down memory lane. <laughs> Check. You haven't answered my question. Should I be worried? I'm afraid so. matter with you come on it's easy you take the brush dip it in the paint and splash it on the canvas anybody can do it <laughs> just my luck an elephant with an attitude You're Klausing's witness. Surprise. So, what are they paying you to do this? Two off my six for poaching. And for that, you're willing to ruin the reputation of a man like Dal Mercer. <laughs> Look, Queen. You are still the Boy Scout. I'm just trying to stop an innocent man from becoming somebody's goat. Save it for the hearing. 
I already told my side of the story to your new warden. Now tell me. You're not ready to hear it. Try me. Okay. About eight, ten years ago, I got a phone call from the Good Ranger. So? Dow often followed up on people he'd arrested to make sure they're staying clean. Well, this time it wasn't a howdy-ho, everything okay kind of phone call. This was a cash for Ivory phone call. I was just out of jail and I needed to earn a living. And, and guess what? I had some contacts in the Ivory business. Your hero's nothing but a criminal. You're a liar. Truth hurts, doesn't it, McQueen? Hey, Boy Scout! You ever wonder why you weren't around the nights the elephants were killed? The elephant was killed June 17th in the Bini Corridor. Where was I? Tori Hillside. She'll actually swallow the tube and help you out. That is very good. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd uh, say you'd done that before. <laughs> All these years in Africa, and I'm still learning. I remember someone telling me that a person dies when he stops learning. <laughs> You've got a good memory, too. I just had a good teacher. Dylan, you're going to hear a few things over the next couple of days that uh, you're not going to like very much. What Klausing is saying is a bunch of bull. We all know that. all this. some things he should have learned from you. The man went against everything he was sworn to protect. I swear to God, Kate.
What do you mean you can't paint? Sometimes you just have to feel it. I cannot feel it. Listen to me. I've got three very important buyers coming the day after tomorrow to see your work. Well, can't you tell them that I don't feel well? Kobe, I understand some artists are afraid of success. I just didn't count on you as being one of them. If you want to be rich, you've got to paint. It's as simple as that. of bread. Now paint! <laughs> Achille, if I don't give Merlino the paintings, I won't make enough money to pay off my moped. <laughs> This is not so difficult. What in the world is this mess? Not mess, art. There is a dealer who will pay good money for paintings. Your paintings? <laughs> well, not exactly. <laughs> Achille was messing around with the paintbrush and for some strange reason he thinks that I am the artist. And I wonder how he came to that conclusion. It's not important. Come, Marika, help me paint. Kobe, the man said he wanted Achilles' paintings. He'll never know the difference. Hmm. He will. <laughs> There he is. Come on, girl. Come on. So, Dal, is a zebra black with white stripes or white with black stripes? <laughs> I don't know. And you were a chief ranger? Yes, I was. <laughs> and a damn good one. Hey, Dal, relax. You're a legend around here. You have nothing to worry about. I'm just a man, Dylan. Nothing more, nothing less.
was my excuse. Now, the elephant population was overcrowded. The government were going to cull them anyway. Those elephants were going to die either by our bullets or starve to death. You were responsible for those elephants. I was also responsible for my wife. Hospital alone cost me three years' salary. I thought if I could get some money, I could at least hire a specialist somewhere. I know this country is filled with good doctors, but they weren't curing her. I found out nobody could. What about families who can't afford to live? Is it okay for them too, Dow? Should they go out and poach? <laughs> you tend not to think of those things when your wife is dying. I made a choice. The wrong one. I was paid 100,000 rand for elephants that were going to die anyway. Was I proud of what I did? No! Would I do it again? For my wife. You bet your life. Dylan! I think it's time for you to leave. Prison do to him. He took a bribe, Travis. He broke the law. I know. But as much as I should hate him for what he's done, I can't. How come Dow is leaving? What's going on? Nothing. He just lied to me, that's all. You knew the men all your life? And that is all you can say about him? And what would you know, Kobe? To you, lying's a way of life. Fine, elephant boy. Have it your way. You okay, Bob? Yeah, I'm fine. I just hope Dow gets everything he deserves. Hey, try not to be too judgmental. What he did was dead wrong. You know, Dylan, life isn't always about right and wrong. It's not all black and white, you know. There's plenty of gray in there. It was his poachers that almost killed Akili, and you're defending him? No, I don't condone what he did. But Dow Mercer is more than that incident. He already lost Marilyn. I don't think you appreciate how much he loved her. And now he's about to lose the only family he has left. I don't think I can turn my back on him right now. I don't even want to hear this. Dylan, his wife was dying. If it was your mother, 
I'm not sure that I wouldn't have done the same thing. Ah, Kobe. Glad to see you got over your block. This must be my painting. No, sir, it is not. I don't understand. I thought we had a deal. I, I am not the artist. Who painted this? I did. But it's awful. I know. No, I want the artist who painted the one I bought. That would be my elephant. <laughs> Your elephant? You mean... I bought an abstract work done by an elephant? Crazy, huh? <laughs> You know, we could still have a deal and make your elephant very famous in the process. Thank you, Mr. Maleno, but I cannot. My elephant is quite happy just being an elephant. You're an honest man, Kobe. Ready for you, Travis. Your Honor, the Republic calls Mr. Travis McQueen. McQueen won't have to testify. Nobody will. I've put him and his family through enough pain already. Your Honor, I am guilty as charged. smell in the city. Only on the veld. Two years isn't too bad. I'd do ten if it would take away the pain. But that's forever. Dylan. I'm sorry I hurt you, boy. I know. But I don't think I can forget what you did. I understand. I only hope one day you'll remember the good times. Me too.
Nothing in the animal kingdom is perfect. Not the fastest cheetah or the strongest elephant. They may appear flawless, but upon closer examination, we see that isn't always true. The people closest to us are much the same way. The problem with finding fault in others is that one must also find fault in oneself. It's man's ability to forgive that is his saving grace. It allows us to realize our own flaws and give each other a second chance.